First one. Taking a while to load. The servers right now, I've heard, are absolutely mudded. 88, 86, 86. Yeah, not really great heroes either. Lundberg, Donovan, Lipmanin. That right there. That's premium fodder. That's fodder for Eusebio's SBC. Or Hullet. One or the other. Second hero player pick. Who is it? Not great. When you can Evo a really good player, I feel like the next week or two, they go ahead and release a better card for a promo. That's what I feel like. They do that a lot, and it's a little bit annoying, but hey, we move. Nakata, Kesler, Litmanin. Any triple threat cards around DA? Any? I feel like this is, you know, base, 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 constantly. King, Guli, or Julie, sorry, and Mascherano. King is usable. But I'd probably just still go for Mascherano. I think there's so many better centre-backs than King. I reckon they're going to add Champions League heroes into, into like some of these hero packs very soon. Very, very soon. Keen, Govu, Berbatov. I guess we'll just go for Berbatov here. Not great from the first one. Triple threat cards. Where are they? EA, you do understand that this is a base slash triple threat hero player pick? You do understand that, right? Blind hero player picks. I feel like we are starting to do this once every stream. Good luck. I say good luck, acting like I'm not the one selecting it. I'm hoping I select the right player, though. All right, first one should be opened. I am going to go for the third option here. I should have selected it. I'm going to head over to the second one, open it. I have a feeling I haven't opened the second one, and I'm going to go for the first one here. Did I do it correctly? I actually did do it correctly. Wesley Schneider and Q. That's not great. That is not great. Wait, why is my entire chat spamming Lucio? There's, there's no way Lucio was there, right? No way. I went back on a recording. I checked it. Lucio in the second one. That one hurts. I can't lie. It hurts. JJ. Morientes. Enzo. Uh, I guess Morientes. Yeah, it looks like he wants to go for him. Lucio, can you pop up again, please? Oh, you know what? No Lucio. But we will take a company. Company for the first time today. Saying that we saw two Winter Wildcard Pele's, I think it's definitely possible to see a Winter Wildcard Godincha at one point. Dirt count. I mean, the other two are Solskjaer and Dudek, so... Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to go for him. What about the second one? <sighs> second one's not much better. And he's going to put United players next to him. I respect that. All right, I'll do it for the year review. Let's do this first. Who? Schmeichel? Schmeichel to save the day because those first two, wow, you, you can't get worse, literally. Schmeichel's pretty nice. Usable card, 200,000 coins, we'll take that. What about the hero player pick? Morientes, we don't see the triple threat card though. Solskjaer, Lundberg, we'll go for Morientes. All defense, no attack, no offense at all. Lucio, Virgil, he's got Salt Campbell in goal as well. Wait, even a full center back. Bench as well and reserves. We're collecting center backs. That's what we're doing. Clearly, he is looking for center backs and center backs only, saying that he is center back FC. Even the strikers are center backs. Mascherano, you could add him to the list. You know, Mascherano on your center back bench, maybe. Looks like it. Lucio, I mean, he's already got Lucio. Wait, what other center backs are we looking for? Company, company would be nice. Wait, he gets Mascherano twice. Watch, he'll go for Marquez over Dirk Cow, which, to be fair, does kind of make sense, saying that he's a higher rated, but I guarantee he'll go for him. Lucio, company, this is your moment to shine. Okay, well, no Lucio or company. All right. Second one. Anything decent? Again, no Lucio or company. Both L's. See, this is what I thought everyone was going to do. I thought everyone was going to do one hero player pick, see how it is, Test it out. See if they get lucky. If they don't, they don't do the next one. But it seems like everyone has full sent it today and done both of them at the same time. Q, Viali, Papan. Two hero player picks and then we'll get into the 83 plus times 20 that he has straight after this. United luck. You know what's going to happen. You know he is going to walk away with a good pull. Bompastor. I'm pretty sure right now her price has gone up because of the Evo. He doesn't go for her though. Bompastor on the market. 
90,000. Her price did go up because of the Evo. You can make her 91 overall. Marquisio. We haven't seen Marquisio today, have we? I don't think we have. This is the first time we see him. I've heard the new Yashin is apparently top five center backs in this game. Loftus Cheek and Barcelona. I mean, okay. 88 Wesley Schneider, Dirk Cal, Melito. Second one. What are we saying with this one? Oh. Let's bring him back up, okay? He's controlling at the same time as me, so it's like we're going all over the place right now. How are we going to get Dirt Couch triple threat card from the first one, and then we get the base out of the second one? Another blind hero player pick. Last time, it didn't go as planned. We missed out on Lucio. Hopefully, that is not the case this time. Come on in. It should be open right now. We should see all three cards. What I say? We should see. I can't see anything. Uh, let's go for the second one should be selected campos campos is like the worst hero you can get so that is 100 the worst one in that player pick from pastel evo over zambrotta yeah definitely zambrotta's good defensively who are we getting here Dirk cow lipman and smaller uh he's great defensively but going forward mm -mm. zambrotta is not it from pastel's like 10 times better going forward forlan kesla viali Am I controlling these? I ain't. Alex, good luck, man. Oh, JJ. JJ, smaller at Carissa. I would say JJ. He goes for JJ. Okay. Triple threat. Janola. Yaya. Please, just one of them today, man. One of them. No, we keep seeing Dirt Cow. There's that like moment of silence, you know. You have to give the hero player pick where you're scanning through the players, making sure... You know, we don't have an incredible card. Anyway, we get Ricardo Cavalio, JJ Akotcha. JJ's nice, Ricardo Cavalio. Yeah, he's fodder. That's what it feels like. It feels like EA have gone, you know what? People are going to be doing a 100 player pack anyway. So let's keep it to the exact same requirements. We released it a, a while ago. Oh, Palo Futre. We'll take him here. Palo Futre, Gomez, and Shuli. Second one. Vola, Lazarazu, Mustovi. I would go Vola. Vola's underrated. I don't think he's underrated. I feel like there's so many better attackers than Vola to the point where it kind of makes Vola get pushed to a side, especially the fact that he's got three star skill moves. Hey, hold on a second. What's this, man? Garnacho in a quick sell section? What's the need? He gets Dirt Cow. This is what happens when you put Garnacho in a quick sell section. You get this. Cavdavia, Evo, or Havertz? In my opinion, Havertz. For sure. Havertz is really good. Compared to... Oh, Abede Pele again. Aljabar, Campos. <laughs> he didn't even take like more than two seconds to decide who to go for there. It was so obvious. We got the lot next to the hero player pick on a blind hero player pick. Surely he brings the luck and surely he allows me to select the right player here. We saw Lucio at one point and we missed out on Lucio. I'm not going to do that again. We're going to go for the third option here. And that is... Berbatov. There's no way... He was the best one. There's one that's going to be quick sold. Yep. Obvious. Very, very obvious. That, that was predictable. You know, we, we expected something like that, especially saying that the Liverpool badge is a dupe as well. We expected that. You know what? I'm happy you got that. Let's do this again. Round two. It didn't work the first time. It got completely... We completely got backed out. Brolin, McManaman, Lundberg. Wow. I would say a three out of ten for the hero player pick. A 3 out of 10. It's not been great. Let's do it, man. Good luck. No icon. Portuguese. Center back. Ruben Diaz. You know what? At this moment, I wouldn't mind a little City duo. We don't get a City duo. Okay. Harry Kane and Ruben Diaz. Winter wild cards once again. Save the day. Casemiro. Dybala and Lorente. Oh. He's got some usable cards in there. This is like 100% a W. I'm so surprised to see Casemiro because that's the first time we have seen him. 115,000 coins for Casemiro. Lorente, we're looking at a card that goes for 200,000 coins. And Dybala should not be a cheap card. He goes for 235. Definitely a dub. 85 plus times 5. Hold on. No, this is the pack I ended up getting... Uh, radioactive Valverdian. If you got yourself a promo card, like a winter wild card or anything like that, it would have... Wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. 
Wow. Wow. EA, come on. No inform. No promo card. Just straight for that. Wait, hold on. Okay. Yeah, just straight fodder. I can't believe that. What did he open? It was a store pack. I'm going to guess it was the 600,000 coin pack. Ruben Diaz. KDB. Or Lewandowski. Or De Stegen. I feel like it's one of those. Yeah, it's KDB. It's always like one of the three. KDB, Lewandowski, De Stegen. Always. Rabiot, Sakiri. Uh, it's not looking good. It's looking like fodder. Grimaldo, Ayozabal. We got VVD at the end, but I'm going to guess he's already got him untradeable. An icon player pick with two hero player picks. And he's putting Hoyland, Garnacho, and Harry Maguire. The double Harry Maguire as well, not just one. Ah, oh, 100% dub. 100%. He has to walk away with a big pool here. Okay, that is, that is bad. That is, yeah. Mm. Not a good start, but listen, we got two other player picks here. Second hero player pick. There you go. There you go. Even though it's a city legend, we will take company. Company, Kessler, icon player pick. What about this one? It's taking a while to load. Oh, no. You get Roberto Carlos again? He just opened something. It's completely lagging. It's a hero player pick. Cola, Campos, Mustovi. We haven't seen a single winter wildcard icon today. I'm not sure what's happening with those. That's a... Uh, is that over God? It is. This was a 100k pack. We get Paredes as well. And it was tradable. And we've also got a hero player pick. With that United luck getting involved. What? Kuehl Campos. That's what happens when you discard the United badge. That's what happens. Can we not quick sell the United badge, please? Can we just, you know, have it there? Just chill it. All right. We're doing this again. Round two. The first one was an L because he did that. The second one. Bonpastor ain't awful, to be honest, because you can Evo her into like a 93 overall card. So it's not too bad. It's definitely better than a lot of hero player picks we see. We're actually opening a hero player pick with someone not discarding the United badge? Oh, okay. Well, he doesn't really get much luck, though. Papin, Enzo, Berbatov. He goes for the highest rated. So many people still use Batcher. So many people. Costa, Forlan, and Ramirez. A hero we have not seen yet in this hero player pick. Finally, by the way, you took long enough to pop up. Harry Maguire either side. Man, I feel so sorry for Harry Maguire. He was on such good form and then he ended up getting injured. Hopefully when he comes back from injury, he's still on that form. Hopefully. Oh, that's not a good hero player pick. wan and the United badge. Things you love to see. Ramirez, round two. No Ramirez, but we will take Bonpastor again. Just to let you know, she turns into a 91, not a 93. But that 91 rated card does look very good. Are you watching the dart soon? Nah, probably not. Oh, well, we're talking about the darts, talking about, you know, that kid that's uh, in the semi-final. All of a sudden, we're getting Janola from a hero player pick. Well, that's unexpected, especially with how these have been. That's very unexpected. This person did six 80 plus player picks and got more walkouts than someone that did 33. What? Cordoba? Cordoba Melito Campos. On the left, on the right, in the middle, we get ourselves a Marquisio. That United luck shining once again. Virgil van Dijk as number one. And then I would go Maldini 93. And then I would go Yashin, the new Yashin. That's my top three. Kesla, Gomez, Keane. Not great. I'm feeling the 84 plus times 20 first. But logically, it makes sense to open the 87 plus times three first. So we'll open this. Good luck, man. French. Center mid. Um. What, what? Honestly, what is this glitch? Like, what? Who else? Oberdorf. Like, why is the winter wildcard walked out with a with a design like this, with an animation like that? Like, what? Oh, we get two. Rabiot are usable. They're not amazing ones, but hey, at least we see. Okay, all right. Yeah, I was about to say. Griezmann with 
It is Aussie men. 288. Not bad. Decent start. Have we got walkouts? More walkouts? Yes, we do. We got plenty of more walkouts. With some winter wildcards as well. Shelby and Alvaro. We'll go for the 87 plus times three first. No inform, nothing like that. Portuguese, center mid. If it's the quick animation, we'll see it. It's not as the long animation. Ruben Diaz. Wait, every single one is a dupe. Bernardo Silva, Reynard, and Martinez. For me, Havertz is better than Trailblazer Cancelo, but he isn't better than uh, Team of the Group Stage. Team of the Group Stage Cancelo in this game, crazy. He just skipped it. Sakiri, 387s. That's the worst 83 plus, 83 plus, 87 plus times three that you can get. 387s. Like, it doesn't really matter that we got a winter wild card as well, you know, because realistically, we look at that winter wild card and we know he is fodder. No striker, Odegaard, 87 overall. Double walkout, he skips it again. He does not want to see who else it is. All right, a few walkouts there, full walkouts. Winter wildcards, we get Raspadori as the only one.